I hear all some music but I can't hear nothing more than drum and the bass and, 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 and with all a, ba- a piano or a strum and all them things. I have to say, wait, the music is empty. My music, they have all sometimes all 15, 21 instruments. You know, see? And everyone playing a different line and thing and thing. So now that we have all that out of the way, my name is Zion, and this is how you play Peter Tosh, Dread and Alive on electric guitar. Grab yours. Let's go. So that was a demonstration on how to strum the cards. Now it's simple. It's uh, a to a D major, right? That's the um, that's a card progression. But the thing is, there was no set way how to strum the cards. I gave you folks an example. Now, as I heard before, Peter Tash has 20, 21, 22 different instruments with each different instrument playing a different line all right so first you have to understand that all right this is sometimes this is why a lot of musicians do not attack or you know try to play his his music because it's 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 many instruments that comes together that creates that one sound that is what i want you folks to understand at first but there are ways to get in there and you know pick out you know what's important which is what i did all right so um so it's mainly about the strumming pattern all right as a guitarist right so of course regular mu- regular reggae you have a one strike as well as you have the um the double skank but then you have peter touch so now <laughs> then you have peter touch which um, I think why his music was a bit different is even with the, the guitar, he plays. He plays the guitar is like a progressive um instrument, like like um he plays the guitar as if he's playing the drums. You know, you realize if you see a lot of his videos, you see a lot of you know a lot of wah. He used a lot of wah, and his wah was thin, right? So with that being said, remember, I did not tune my guitar that way like his, you know, because it would have take some time and the wah I hate when the wah is thin, right? Some reason I love the way how his sound, probably the way he plays. But nevertheless, let's dive into this. Let's dive into this and let's deal with that stock line first, you know? No, my bad. And I think what they use on their guitar at that time, it was a, I think it was a lot of phaser. They use a lot of phaser. So you get a lot of, you get, you know, I got a lot of that. All right. So how you play that stock line? Some people are going to call it riff, you know, Um, but a stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. That accompanies with the bass that <laughs> accompanies the bass line. It plays what the bass line plays. Alright? So if you listen, you will hear the bass line playing do dum tum do dum tum tum do dum tum do dum dum do dum tum do dum 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 do dum tum do dum dum. Alright, the guitar plays the same thing. Stock line. That is what we call it. 
all right so now you want to come all the way up here to the seventh fret seventh fret fourth string one two three right um fourth string still fourth fret you want to jump back to the 7th fret and you're going to jump to the 5th string so you get you want to reverse it so then reverse you want to silence it a little bit and if you do not know how to strum reggae or to get this type of sound I believe in a link to a video that takes care of all that you know, it's always going to be in every one of my videos. So check it, you know, from here on. So slower. Then reverse. All right, so. Then you want to stop there. Fourth string, fourth fret. All right. So that should take care of that part. Quite easy, right? All right. So let's move on to some strumming. Let's move on to the strumming for the intro. So now, like I said, he plays the guitar in this song like he's playing a drum. All right, which you go. All right, sometimes you can use a wah pedal if you want to spice it up a little bit. You know, because it's modern time now, right? And we're going to have modern sound, modern instruments and all. So we're not going to get back that exact sound. All right? So so now, and what he plays is stay right there on that A major. To find the A major, you want to bar the whole fifth fret. Place that middle finger on the third string, sixth fret. Pinky finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. Ring finger on the fifth string, seventh fret. All right, so here's a pattern. So you want to squeeze down, down, and mute. You want to keep that finger there so it can ring out because if you move it, then you're going to get that. So you want to get so. I'm going to come back down and strike again. So down. All right. One, two, three. Then you come back up and strike and pause again. So you get. You want to scratch. So it's all about this hand right here. So listen to the difference now. So all right. Pam padam pam pa 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 padam pam padam pam pam padam. All right, and do know that while that is playing, they're playing. All right, so here is an example again. So I want you to listen to it, and you're going to hear the stock line playing while I'm playing that strumming pattern for the intro. Here we go. So listen. Hear that? Like I'm playing a drum. So now do know that while those two are playing, there are like probably about three other guitars <laughs> playing in 
in the background. All right, so we're picking out what is important, you know. Probably I'll do another video that goes deeper. All right, so now we want to move on to the strumming patterns. And again, you are going to choose which one you want to use because the, there's a lot of stuff going on. All right, the verse and the chorus, whatever. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. All right, so it goes... While you have one go. Another one will go. But you got to listen out for that one right so here is strum pattern number one like this so you want to move from the a to the D. Now to find that D by the whole fifth fret, place that ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string of the seventh fret. And you're not even hearing it like that when you're playing it. So. So one, two, double skank. So one, two, three, double skank on the four when you move to the four. So you're gonna one, two, as soon as I get to the four. Now you're gonna, you can do that, a lot, you know, upstroke, a long press, but that is just a little passing, you know, little thing there, so. Here's a demonstration. So go. You can add your little, you know. So strumming pattern number two, which is probably a bit easier. It goes like this. Okay, probably I'm going a little bit too fast, but... The double scan go there, so... One, two... So you'd want to do one, two on the A, then double skank on the D. All right, so so you can pick up with a one strike on the four again. So Here's a demonstration. Here we go, it starts different. Now I hope you folks are still with me. I hope you folks are still with me and you're not confused. So now, when after the intro, the verse, the intro chorus verse, then it's going to get back into a, like the intro, right? 
And it's kind of like the verse. This song is a bit confusing, but if you do not know the structure of the song, please, please, I beg you, go and listen to the the, um, the original and come back here. All right? So it would be like, this is what they would play. All right? All right, so you get... All right, now you're not going to do this slide a lot. All right, it's every now and then. So. All right, so again. So one, two, then scratch. Scratch on the D major. So when it's time for you to do that slide, you want to grab from a semitone down into the A. So it's from the A flat to the A. And make sure you're getting that thinner string, you know. So. Once you get back here, you're only going to strike one. Then you're going to jump to the D. Okay, but you're gonna mix it with all right. Here's an example. Here we go. And that is how you play Peter Tosh Dread and Alive on electric guitar. I do know that they are playing a lot of different instruments in the song. So what you are going to do, you are going to put together what sounds the best for you. All right. If you're the only guitarist, you're going to have to mix it. You're going to have to mix it up and get creative and all. All right, you just don't want to do, just do not want to overdo anything. All right, so be mindful of that. All right, so um, here's an example of how I would play. All right, I'm just gonna vibe with it. Mm-hmm. 